Hello, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Marnie Hernandez, and uh, thank you for joining me this Monday afternoon, evening, uh, for some of you. Uh, we are doing the Bahamas today, okay? So Bahama Paradise, uh, we're going to go in and learn about the Bahamas uh, specialist, okay? Uh, what this is, is a workshop that we do together, okay? As you can see here, this is the calendar of the, of the certificates that we do or workshops that we do. Um, let me explain to you how we do them. What we do is we do it as a group. It's a workshop, okay? Um, and so we go into these different programs, learn about them, and then we get a certificate uh, many times, okay? And then you post them. You let people know, hey guys, I'm a Europe specialist now. I'm an Italy specialist. I can now book your travel for you, okay? Um, also, the great part about doing these trainings is um, a lot of times you start getting promotional material, fam trips, familiarization trips. And if you love the travel guys, they've got amazing, amazing fam trips. So that's why I tell people, even if you can't do it with me, do it yourself. Um, but get in and try to do one or two a week. Um, get to know these different um Okay, Narcus said she can't hear me. Can you guys hear me? Is everybody can hear me and see my screen okay? Yes, okay. Um, click um, mute or join by audio. Oops, audio. Try phone. Okay, also, I want to share with you a lot of times. Um, You'll follow along on your phone and then do the test together with me online. So again, now you're being able to do it together, okay? Um, let me see, okay, perfect. All right, so today we're going under the Travel Agent University. You will have to go in and register. This is the company name information. This is your personal information, okay? And then these are the courses. These are actually ones we've already done. Um, so as I was saying earlier, I do have a YouTube channel right here that I will share with you um, in case you guys have to leave, in case you miss something. Like I said, we've just done uh, Cunard and uh, Princess, nine different videos, okay? That's a long one, guys. So, uh, but you get a three-day to a 30-day cruise. Who doesn't want that? So yeah, you can do these guys on your own. But why? We have the testing and everything right here. So um, you want to learn about team building? That's in, in here. Incentive vouchers, that's in here. You want to share the opportunity? That's in here. Um, so lots of different ones. Also, uh, quick little essential sales skills. Um, Google your business. Um, uh, daily commissions. Lots and lots of training in here for you guys. Um, even how to do a credit card authorization, a quick little, what, two, a five minute video, Viator, a one minute video. So check these out when you get time. But what I want to say is that um, as we're doing these trainings, if you have to jump off, we will have them recorded and I will post them here. Okay. All right. So there we go. Carnival Cruise Part One. We did that. We're going to do the second part this Friday. Um, Carnival, you win, um, you get like points towards cruises, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, and Disney, guys, Disney is a six to eight hour one. Um, that's down here. Did a lot of Disney ones. And Jamaica, if you love Jamaica and Atlantis, those are down here too. Become a, a Jamaican specialist. Uh, one love, they give out fam trips all the time. So get in and do that. Universal Studios. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So again, today we are doing um, uh, the Bahamas. All right, so let's go to course list. Let me go back to the beginning. All right, so courses. So make sure your name's up here. You go to courses and let's look and see. So these are all different ones. We're gonna do Bahamas today. Um, now, just so you know, uh, tomorrow, Tomorrow, if you're joining me, um, we have it down for Clea, but I know um, I know uh, Ron is doing a special on Clea tomorrow. So if you planned on joining me for tomorrow for Clea, 
I'm wondering if we should match it with that one and then do the second part of Clea. Let me look and see when his is. So his is at 11 tomorrow. So let's get on there, see how that is, what he goes over, and then we can move on um, to the CLIA certificate at noon. If not, um, we can do something else tomorrow if he goes over everything, okay? So I just wanted to share that with you. So get on that um, with Ron tomorrow um, at 11, and then we can go on more details um, at the 12 o'clock one. All right, so just so you know, here's a lot that we have already done in here. Um, but, um, and then for next year, ne next year, next month, um, well, next Monday we're doing Switzerland. And then next month I have down um, Easter cruise, New York, Celebrity Cruise, Shangri-La, Scotland, MSC, Greece, France, Spain, and Virgin Voyages. All right, so that's our next month program. All right, so let's get started. A lot of times, some of these will be reading. Sometimes they'll be videos, okay? So um, I'll start reading. If you're just signing up, just keep going. Um, put in the chat box if you need help. I have a lot of amazing agents on here to help us, okay? And then if it's too long, is this different from Travel Agent Academy? Yes, we have several different training programs. So there's Travel Agent Academy, there's um, OTT, there's Travel Agent University. So yes, there's many different um, training programs that we do get to go into. So this is Travel Agent University, okay? And again, we're doing the Bahamas right now, okay? So as I said, if you're still registering, don't worry about it. Um, most of the time we'll go in and I'll read, but when we get to the test, guys, uh, we will wait for you, okay? So we won't do the test without you or we will make sure you guys all get um, up, get um, past the test, okay? I don't know if you see my kitty, but he's climbing, oh, finding my mouse. Um, also, let me read this to you. So travel agents with 16 major islands, the clearest water on the planet, planet, endless activities, and the friendliest people, the islands of the Bahamas remain among the most popular vacation destinations in the world. Our valued travel agent partners play an important role in promoting our destination to travelers new and old. Our new Bahamas specialist program is designed to make you an expert on all things Bahamas and easily accessible training modules. You'll also find downloadable and shareable content to help promote your business from maps and island fact sheets to photo and video content. Um, now, also, what, the, what I'm saying about this, I always tell a lot of people, um, whether you want to save it online or get a little binder for each of these, okay? So, because in some cases they say, click here for more details, click here for names of, you know, wedding planners, click here for contacts, okay? And then you can print those out or save them online on a special, you know, Bahama tab or whatever. Um, but again, now you have all those details one place, okay? So again, keep it organized however you wish. But again, as they say, fact sheets, maps, et cetera, to help you to sell the product. All right, program highlights, train, um, complete our visual training modules from anywhere, even on the go, retrain, revisit any of your already completed materials anytime you like, promote, promote your business and the destination with photos, videos, infographics, and more, and then sell. Find the answers and tools that will make you selling, make selling a breeze. So again, what I tell everybody is, guys, go in and post, you know, let people know now you're a specialist, let people see your certificate, um, let people know, you know, that you know about the Bahamas, okay? All right, rewards, earn three continuing ed credits upon completing this specialist program. Confirm your first four night of Bahamas booking to earn an e-gift card. Three winners selected quarterly for a Bahamian, Bahamian gift box. And 
on Spotlight Top Bookers on Bahamas social media channels, okay? And just so you know, I don't know if she's on here, but I think it was Jody. Jody won a $100 gift card. Another um, agent won a $100 gift card. So you never know, you know, when they do these drawings. So again, if for any reason you have to get off this training, get back in, finish the course so you can get entered to win. Um, because again, these um, vendors, suppliers, we are their salespeople, okay? So of course they wanna take care of us. So yeah, they're always giving all kinds of specials. <laughs> My little kitty, she's so funny. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so Trav Pro, Travel Professional Training and Sales um, an, an Enablement Program. All right. So welcome to the Bahamas Specialist Program. Learn, promote, and sell on the go. Multimedia training ex, um, access oops, across devices. Certificate of completion. Ready-made sales presentation. High-impact promotional materials. Insider tips, promotions, real-time product directory, and timely news and updates. Okay, so that's what we're going to learn um register or log in okay so again i'm already registered hopefully so we're going to go ahead and log in and here we are so i tried logging in says at the top i'm not an agent okay hold on let me go back on where am i We log out again. Okay. I'm not an agent. Okay. It says I'm not an agent up there either, but I am an agent. So if you go down here, it says, please enter your email because you should have already registered. Okay. Um, so as you see here, mine says it also, it says I'm not an agent. So just go down here, fill this in and hit log in. And then it should take you there. Is everybody here? I'm still getting, I'm not an agent. Okay. Um, even when down here, when you go yes. down there? Yes. Okay. And did you register on the first page? Yes. Should I try to re-register? Um, yeah. I mean, I, I did the whole profile and everything. So, so go to this screen. Are you here? Does it show your name up here on the, yes. on the main screen? Yes. Okay. So you I just had to do the verify email. Register. Oh, let me check the verify email. Maybe that's Yeah, there. there's a verify. Okay. Verify your email. Okay. Thank you. So again, guys, like I said, you know, we do this together. I'm not a specialist. I just, you know, have <laughs> I just do the clicking and the talking. No. <laughs> All right, so yeah, go in, make sure. Christine, what about you? Did you get in? Verify your email. Um, okay, so here we're on the course. What are you doing, little guy? Huh? Where's your mommy at? Here, watch out, I need to work, I need to do my training. All right, so yeah, please enter, make sure, verify your email. I'm in now. Perfect. Okay. So put your email, verify it, and then log in. Perfect. All right. Okay. So here we are now. Um, so again, we train, retain, promote, directory, sell. Okay. Oh my God. Look how beautiful that is. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm still having trouble logging into that part. I verified my email. And um, I do have my name in the corner. Okay. But Just maybe give it a little bit or go completely out and then go back in if you verified. Okay. Yeah. You and again, also register for the Bahamas section. Huh? 
for the Bahamas section, if you don't register, I just had to do it too. You have to hit register on the Bahamas section. So you actually have to register twice. Twice, yeah. So like yeah. one for the agency and then one for Bahamas specific. Yeah, and then check your email, verify the email. And then like they said, a couple people said it does take a little bit. So um, also guys, just remember, you know, over here on our trainings and stuff, Try to go in, you know, Carnival, if you haven't done Carnival, that one you do have to um, make sure it takes 24 to 48 hours. So if you want to catch part two, you got to make sure to um, get registered before the meeting. Um, so a lot of times we send these out. So try to go in and register ahead of time if you plan on trying to get to these, um, just so that way you're already in. Because we found out on Europe, it takes three days to get approved. So we, we okay. didn't- um, Morning. If we're already registered, are we okay then for the carnival? Yeah, I'm if you're already registered. registered, yes. And again, if you missed the first part, it is right here now. You can catch up on that. And then we're gonna start part two on Friday. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So again, guys, as you're registering, don't worry. I'm just gonna be reading right now. If you're still having trouble, put it in the chat box. And again, we have a lot of leaders on here that will help you. Um, and then as we get to the test, I will make sure everybody is ready to take the test, okay? All right, so Bahamas Specialist, on behalf of half of the islands of the Bahamas, we welcome you to the Bahamas Specialist Program and Sales en Enablement Program. This program is designed to help you more easily discover and sell the Bahamas like a pro anytime or anywhere, helping maintain your expertise long after completing the embedded training course. The content is all new, updated regularly, easily shareable, and has something for everyone. Looking forward to welcoming you as a Bahama Specialist. Enjoy. And on behalf of the Bahamas, we welcome you to the Bahama Specialist Sales Enablement. Okay, as enjoy. Okay, so same message two different times. Okay, so now we're going to showcase and messages. Let's just look at showcases. Okay, so uh, promotion boards. Okay, so Bahama out, a great job. Thank you. Um, out the out islands appeal to true connoisseurs of Caribbean island life to travelers who wander. Visit Booth. Let's just take a look. And again, I just kind of go through and see. So uh, Bahama Out Islands Promotion Board recent offers. Okay, take advantage of a 250 air credit early announcement. So again, guys, um, this is what I'm talking about where we learn and see all the different promotions and everything. Yay, Lydia, congratulations. Accommodations, et cetera. Okay, so these are showcases, promotional boards. All right, so... Let's go ahead and get to training. All right, so educate, engage. Yay, Rebecca, all right. Is now everybody online? Is everybody good? Educate, engage, and become the expert, okay? Complete these essential modules to earn your diploma. Yes, I am recording this. Just as I said over here on my YouTube, I will post this on to my YouTube, don't worry. Um, if for any reason you have to leave, this is my YouTube channel. I will post it so you can catch up. If Because sometimes some of them are 45 minutes, some of them are three hours. <laughs> so I just wanna warn you, okay? But I do have them recorded. All right, so complete these essentials to earn your diploma. Um, specialization modules, up your game and earn a badge for each module below. So we're gonna start here with the essentials. All right, now, if you can't hear very well, I need to move my speaker down, so just let me know. This is just music right now. Are you being silent? Huh? Guys, I did the um, Jamaica one, sandals. I got a free trip to Jamaica for three free nights with sandals. So that's what I'm saying. You need to let 
Now, thank you, Joanne. You need to make sure you stay plugged in. You need to make sure that you, you know, do these because who doesn't want a free trip to Jamaica? Okay. Horribly on my phone. Okay. Sorry, um, Erica. Um, again, you know, just listen then. And then, like I said, we'll do the test together. All right. So welcome to the Bahamas. The islands of the Bahamas are a group of shimmering gems sprinkled across 100,000 square miles on the Atlantic Ocean, north of the Caribbean Sea, featuring every shade of crystal clear blue water. The ecological uh, paradise comprises 700 breathtaking islands, over 2,000 rocks and caves, and it boasts the clearest water on the planet. There are 16 main islands to visit in the Bahamas, each offering its own enticing mix of nature, cult, um, adventure, culture, and relaxation. With the lure of a big city and the ease of the tropics, Nassau and Paradise Island are considered as many, uh, as, are considered by many as well paradise. Nassau, the capital of the Bahamas, is a bustling metropolitan hub full of culture, modern amenities, and also a popular cruise port. Um, again, a lot of people um, got these free cruises through like Virgin Voyages and those $5 cruises through uh, Carnival. They're there right now. If you watch Facebook, a lot of our agents are in Nassau right now on these cruises. Um, treasure hunters can explore the sunken Spanish galleons off Grand Bahama Island, while boaters will enjoy sailing into the sunset around the um, Abacos, Ab Abacos. Again, guys, um, I'm not a speech therapist. <laughs> I write for tomato, tomato, okay? If I uh, pronounce it correctly, please let me know. Um, the sailing capital of the Bahamas. With hundreds of thousands of miles of clear tropical water, it's not surprising that, that Bimini has been designated the big fishing capital of the Bahamas. Um, adventurous um, anglers can cast for marlin, swordfish, or wahoo along the Gulf Stream while fly fishing aficionados, aficionados? Uh, cast for the elusive bonefish off Long Island or Acklands and Crooked Island. Nature lovers will flock to Inagua to catch a glimpse of the over 80,000 flamingos, the national uh, bird of the Bahamas, who call this island home. The and eco explorers will be drawn to Andros and its mesmerizing blue holes. Mile deep abysses, deep teeming with vibrant marine life and the world's third largest Coral Barrier Reef. How beautiful, huh? From endless pineapple fields to white and peaks, pink sand beaches to secluded coves and miles of coastlines. Um, Eleuthera and Harbor Island um, epitomize the splendor of the Bahamas. The Azumas are the ultimate escape for the rich and famous, but for the client seeking a little more solitude and privacy, the largely uninhabited Berry Islands will fit the bill. History buffs can meander along the same beach on San Salvador, where Christopher Columbus made his first landfall in the New World. And lovers of folklore can revel in authentically a bohemian uh, rake and scrape music on Cat Island. In the following chapters, you will discover how to promote and sell this unique archipelagic, um, hope that's right, destination to your discerning clientele. By the end, you'll be an expert on each of the 16 islands, main islands, and the maraud of experiencing experiences awaiting your clients. You'll also learn about how the Bahamas is supremely suited for booking specialty markets, such as romance, group, and business travel. Welcome to the Bahamas. All right, let's go to the next screen. All right, so the islands of the Bahamas are spread out over 100,000 square miles of glistening crystal clear waters. How many islands in total are there in this idyllic 
archipelago. Okay, now confirm 16. your answer. Okay, does it show numbers there, guys? Or are we I, just yeah, you gotta do it like this. Click, up. Yeah. Like what? That. Just keep clicking on the number. Yeah. Well, that would go. be zero. Okay, so how many island, how many are there, guys? Anybody? Was it 16? It's 16. 16. Thank you. See, I'm glad I have some smart people on here with me. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh Marty, I googled, I googled it. It said seven hundred. All right, let's try again. Because okay. it said sixteen islands to visit, but I googled it and it said seven hundred. <laughs> so All right. I, let's try again. Well, it did say seven hundred. It just said there sixteen main islands to visit. Okay, so 700 islands total. Okay, so did everybody get that? Again, we want to make sure everybody gets it. Yep. If not, when you get to this part, it's 700. Okay, just click on it and they'll add the numbers. Okay. Yay. All right, who is the Bahamas traveler? Who do you sell to? Well, the islands of the Bahamas appeal to a vast spectrum of vacationers. Singles, friends, families, and multi-generational travelers will find hotels and activities suited to every level of engagement and entertainment. Couples and honeymooners uh, will find secluded beach picnics, couples, massages, sunset dinner cruises, quiet boutique hotels, or uh, grand honeymoon suites. Golfers, tennis buffs, bikers, marathon runners have their pick of several islands and numerous annual events. Shoppers and casino gamblers all have the option of an intimate boutique or complete resort experience. Those who like a little history and culture with their son and fun will find historic forts, colonial buildings, stately homes and churches, and remnants of slave homes and settlements. Foodies can indulge in authentically bohemian dishes like conch salad or spiny lobster served at a casual waterfront hut or at a fine dining restaurant. Nature lovers will find our marine parks, fish and mammal encounters, as well as botanical gardens extremely appealing. Fishing enthusiasts can test their eight angling skills with everything from bone fishing to big game fishing. Divers and snorkelers will find their haven in our inland caves, crystal clear, shallow waters, and steep drop-offs. Private pilots and yachter, yacht, yachters, yachters <laughs> may be an undiscovered market for you, but they are an ideal fit for the Bahamas. No matter where they want to visit, there's an airport or a marina for them on every major island. According to Julie Shear, luxury luck travel specialist from Cruise Planners, anyone and everyone makes the ideal Bahamas uh, client. Learn why by tapping the video icon on the right. 2019 saw over 7 million arrivals with approximately 2 million arriving by air, seven, um, 787,000 repeat visitors, and an average stay of over four to 4.5 nights. Check out more visitor stats by tapping on the infographic icon on the right. All right, so here's the video. restaurants, casinos, of course, water activities. So really, I think anybody is the ideal client for the Bahamas. All right. And, and then it said the, um, oops, let me go back. All right. Do, 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 do. All right, so next, next. All right, 
And then this one here is ones that I told you how you can print these out then and have them for, you know, reference if you want. Okay. All right. All right. So let's go to the next one. Training tip. Okay. What is a training tip? Did I miss that? Oh, here. All right, so travel requirements. Okay, so here again, more information on flights, ferries. Again, these are ones to go ahead and save in your binders, etc. Okay, to keep track. All right, so now can I move on? Yes. All right, so traveling to and between the islands. There are 20 international airports across the islands of the Bahamas. Direct airlift is available from major, most major cities in the U.S. and Canada. Did you know the Linden Pindley International Airport in Nassau offers U.S. pre-clearance? Passengers departing Nassau are now pre-screened by U.S. Customs and Immigration before boarding their outbound flight to the U.S., allowing them to bypass the normal international arrivals process. Airlines with regularly scheduled service from the U.S. to the Bahamas are American Airlines, Delta Airlines, JetBlue, Silver Airlines, Airways, United Airlines, and Bahamas Air. Airlines providing service from Canada include Air Canada, Sunwing, and WestJet. The Bahamas are easily reachable with these average flight times. These are sometimes a, a test question, so pay attention. Um, Miami to Fort Lauderdale, Miami, Fort Lauderdale to Bahamas, under 55 minutes. Atlanta, two hours. New York, two hours, 45 minutes. Houston, two hours, 45 minutes. Toronto, Toronto three hours, Chicago, three hours, and Denver, four hours and 15 minutes. The islands of the Bahamas are the number one overseas destination for U.S. Uh, private pilots and Freeport is just 40 minute flight from Fort Lauderdale. In fact, flying to any island in the Bahamas is simple and well within the capa capabilities of the lightest single engine aircraft. Once in the Bahamas, visitors can hop between islands in a number of ways. Inter-island flights are offered by national airline Bahamas Air and domestic carriers including Flamingo Air, uh, Lier, Pineapple Air, Southern Air, and Western Air. Um, private charters offer clients the option of setting their own schedule, travel schedule for domestic flights across our islands or international flights from South Florida. International cruise ferry service is available from Fort Lauderdale, Freeport, Grand Bahama, and Bimini on um, Valeria, Caribbean, and from Palm Beach, Florida to Freeport via Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line. Um, I just went on that one. Uh, that's where I swam with the pigs, guys. It's a little two-night cruise, but it was, it was fun. Inter-island ferry service with Bahamas ferries take visitors from Potter's K Dock in Nassau to Eleuthera Harbor Island, Spanish Wells, the Abacos, Andros, the Exumas, and Freeport, Grand Bahama Island. Tap the um, link icon on the right for more information about flying into the Bahamas. Okay, so again, here's a, a trail thing. Oh, this is the one we were on. Okay, so again, um, more details help with your flights and stuff. Okay, there's my dummy doggy griping. Okay, all right, so let's go next. All right, which airport allows pre-screening by U.S. Customs and Immigration before visitors board their outbound flight to the U.S.? Um, allowing them to bypass the normal international arrivals process. Linton. What is it, Linton? Yes, the third. You got it. Pre-clearance at Linden Pindling Airport in Nassau gives Americans a speedier um, chance to get back, okay? Everybody got that? Got it, thank you. Yeah, very good. <laughs> Again, that's the fun part of working together, guys. 
All right, accommodation. Look how cool these, these beautiful colors are. All right, so accommodations overview, hundreds of islands um, stretched across tens of thousands of miles, not only provide a diverse, exciting geography, but also an unbelievable range of accommodations. From fishermen to families, honeymooners to budget minders, the islands of the Bahamas promise the perfect place to stay for every type of client. Many major international leisure brands are present in the Bahamas, offering a wide range of accommodations, amenities, and activities, such as restaurants, bars, lounges, kids clubs, pools, spa, fitness centers, entertainment, meeting spaces, and concierge assistance. Hotels range from beachfront mega resorts in popular tourist areas to smaller full service hotels tucked off the beaten path. All exclusives, all inclusive, sorry, um, meals, beverages, activities, gratuities, and other services are typically included in the price. Many all inclusive properties in the Bahamas are geared towards specific vacation styles like adult only resorts. Um, boutique properties and villas. In the Bahamas, boutique and villa properties have fewer than 100 rooms and are known for their trendy, stylish designs. Personalized guest services and an ambiance uniquely curated for their clientele. Many properties are located on the beach and usually feature outdoor amenities similar to larger resorts. Condos and apartments, um, condo hotels and apartment hotels. These properties include full service, self service condos and individual hotel guest rooms under common management with a restaurant, a pool, and other traditional hotel amenities. Some units may be privately owned, however, they must be included in the hotel room inventory when not in use by their owners. B, B, and B bread and be, bed and breakfast, dive lodges and fishing lodges. These are small establishments with detached or adjoining cottages ranging from rustic intimate lodges to grander settings. They are typically family run, uh, provide breakfast or all meals in a family setting and offer specialized dive fishing excursions and unique access to the local community. Guest houses and rental properties, perfect for travelers who want two, three, or more bedrooms and baths, or for couples looking for more privacy. Uh, rentals run the gamut when um, from spacious villas to quaint cottages to convenient condos. They can uh, be on the beach, in resort areas, or residential areas. And don't forget that yachts can be chartered. Rentals typically include full kitchen, laundry facilities, and often include a catering staff and a car rental. And then you have private islands to satisfy the yearnings of your most discerning clientele. Island villas and clusters of villa style properties may be booked on an exclusive K or private island. Additional amenities such as boats, golf carts, Chefs and butlers are available to further enhance their bespoke vacation experience. All right, quick so little video. All right. Good to know, right? All right. So know before they go, okay? Entry and exit requirements. A valid U.S. or Canadian passport or valid residency card accompanied by a valid passport from country of origin. 
proof of a return airline ticket and sufficient funds to support their stay, a negative COVID PTRT PCR test taken no more than five days prior to the date of arrival. Children 10 and under are exempt. Bahamas health visa must be approved before boarding your flight to the Bahamas. Passengers 17 years and under should be added to the health visa profile of their parent guardian. Travel health visa applications take up to 48 hours to process. Again, tap the link on the right for most up to date. As you know, this changes on a daily basis. So you can't guarantee what was just read is accurate now, okay? So again, um, pay attention, apply for the visa, and then it'll have all the updates, okay? So this is last updated November 10th. So again, um, most up to date. So definitely uh, pay attention to that when talking with your clients. You don't want them to get over there and then be quarantined, okay? Um, customs, U.S. citizens and residents out of the country for 48 hours are allowed up to $800 worth of duty-free merchandise. Canadian citizens and residents can claim up to Canada 800 duty-free after a minimum absence of 48 hours out of the country. The climate, temperatures range from 70 to 90 degrees. Water temperatures, 72 degrees in the winter um, to 83 in the summer. Hurricane season is from June through November. Understanding the geography of the Bahamas is key to ensuring no storms interrupt your client's vacation plans. Currency, the legal tender in is the Bahamian, Bah is it Bahamian? Bahamian? Bahamian. Bahamian. Bahamian dollar, thank you, which is equivalent in value to the U.S. dollar. U.S. current currency is accepted throughout the Bahamas. Major credit cards are accepted at most establishments. ATMs dispense Bahamian dollars. Electricity, the 120 volt 60 cycle AC electrical current, standard North American hair dryers, shavers, cell phone chargers, and other small electrical appliances can be used without adapters. Time zone, it's the Eastern Standard Time Zone. Daylight savings time is observed in connection, uh, conjunction with the United States and Canada. Telephone, TV, internet. International direct dialing to more than 100 countries. BTC has roaming agreements with over 128 mobile phone companies. Satellite television capabilities are offered at most hotels and resorts. Wireless and high-speed internet access is also available at most hotels, resorts, and other venues. Again, you'll want to check with your carrier, though, because you don't want to get um, all those charges, okay? Okay. I know I have free Mexico, but not in the Bahamas. <laughs> All right, uh, transportation. Taxis are located at the airport and most hotels. All taxis charge fixed rates calculated by zone and set by law. Surcharges often apply for more than two passengers, extra luggage and bridge tolls, $2 on Paradise Island. Water taxis are available from downtown Nassau to Paradise Island and they connect North um, Eleuthera to Harbor Island, North and South Bimini, the uh, uh, Abaco Cays to the mainland and Acklands and Crooked Island, to name a few. Public buses called Jitneys are available on several major islands. To explore the islands on your own, rental cars, mopeds, golf carts, and bicycles are available. Remember, we drive on the left, okay? and boat rentals are also an option. All right, let's see what this is. Do, 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 do. All right, we're ready to welcome you. So again, that's a health visa that we talked about. All right, perfect. All right, there's a wide range of accommodations uh, available across, um, <laughs> oh, that would have been fun. Um, across our diverse islands, check all the types of places you can book for your clients 
from the list below. Isn't it all of them? Can you book a private island? That's the only one I was wondering. Hmm. The rest of them, I, I say yes, but I just didn't know. the types you can book. It's all of them. Okay, thank you. It is, okay. Yep, it I, is. I, okay, perfect. Yep. So many different types of accommodations in the Bahamas. Perfect. Okay, so it's all of them, guys. All right, congratulations. Okay, fun facts. We've compiled some fun facts about the Bahamas that you likely have never heard before. Many astronauts have remarked about the clear waters of the Bahamas, but now the same view that they can enjoy um, can be seen by those of us on the planet's surface. Google Earth features precise images that prove just how incredible the color of our water really is. So here we are. It says, uh, Bahamas and me, I think we all know who's better looking. <laughs> okay. It is believed that British pirate William Cat buried loot on Cat Island, hence the island is named after him. Cat Island was the boyhood home of Sir Sidney Portier, the first black man to win an Oscar for the best actor in a leading role. Did you guys see him in uh, To Sir With Love? <laughs> Favorite movie. All right. The micro archipelago of <laughs> Bimini was a favorite retreat for Ernest, Ernest Hemingway, Adam Clayton Powell, and offered inspiration to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. on several occasions, including in preparation for his Nobel Peace Prize ceremony. Ponce de, Le de Leon set a sail for Bimini in the 1500s in search of the Fountain of Youth. Today, um, today's adventures seek the underwater pathway known as Bimini Road, considered by some to be the road to the lost city of Atlantis. Love that. Anybody want to swim with the dolphins? In 2005, the Marine Life um, Ocean Oceanarium in Gulfport, Mississippi, was destroyed by Hurricane Katrina, leaving 16 dolphins stranded. These dolphins were rescued and nursed back to health and given a new home when Dolphin K was built at the Atlantis Resort. Dolphin K is a state-of-the-art facility housing Atlantic bot bottlenose dolphins and gives visitors the chance to interact with the Katrina dolphins. More good news, the family of dolphins have grown throughout the years. Many people associate pineapples with Hawaii, but in reality, Hawaii originally imported its pines from the Bahamas. Did you guys know that? I didn't. Pineapples were grown in the Bahamas from the early 1700s, but were not exported on a large scale until 1844. During that year, it is believed that upward of 15,000 dozen um, were shipped. Um, Eleuthera is still home to some of the sweetest pineapples on earth. Tap the video link um, to learn more about our own Lady Di and her pineapple plantation. Be sure to check out the social media pages and Island Postcards to promote, which you can share with your clients to test their knowledge of the Bahamas. All right, so um, have we watched this already? A hotel and sugar apple tree. He's <laughs> 40 years old. So I've been doing this like 40 years. And I get sweet every year. Pineapple fields. My husband used to help me a lot, but he died in August. He was sick for a while. So everybody seems like, no, I'm going to keep it up. I'll keep it up. I like to plant in October, that's the dampest part of the year. So when you plant them, they catch like in two weeks, you see where they're done, turning green and you have a lot of rain and it's cooler. The worker don't have to work that hard in the sun. But I have like tomatoes and stuff in the back, but my number one crop is pineapple. And 
I use like the pineapple, little pineapples I use, yeah. I make pineapple hot sauce, I make pineapple jam, pineapple chutney. But it's no pineapple like the little pineapple. It's sweeter, they call it sugar loaf. Some people like them all ripe, but I like when the bottom is ripe and then the top is green. And you have that little base on ripe and then also ripe. You feel that and it looks like a little loaf. Slice it up and it tastes like sugar. So it's got a sugar loaf. <laughs> Ah, that's sweet. All right, next. Okay, be sure to check out social media and to promote this section. Okay, let me show you this. Oh, not there. Okay, oops, oops, oops. All right, let's go to the next page. Oh, my training tip. I thought we did that. All right, true or false? The first pineapples in the New World came from the Bahamas, not Hawaii. That is true. Okay. Congratulations, you've completed the first foundation module and are on your way to become a Bahama specialist. Read on to learn more about the varied and beautiful islands that make up the tropical archipelago. Woohoo! Chapter completed. All right. So we've got um, two more here, and then we can do the specialization later or whatever. So again, you guys let me know. You want to go on and do the islands? Yes, let's okay. do it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. So the islands. Any you want to read, Joanne? Absolutely. Be glad to. Okay, perfect. All right, Nassau Paradise Island, one of my favorites. We've been there three times. Oh, nice. Uh, a cosmopolitan tropical wonderland. Nassau, the capital of the Bahamas, is actually located on the island of New Providence, less than a half a mile or 804 meters north of Nassau, is the resort enclave of, the, of Paradise Island. Together, these two, Nassau and Paradise Island, form the heartbeat of the Bahamas. New Providence is approximately 80 square miles or 207 kilometer kilometer square and two bridges connect to connect it to paradise island which is only 685 acres and if y'all don't mind i'm not going to read the metric so it's quite easy to hop around from one idyllic spot to the next part british part west african the diverse history historical and cultural influences give nassau a spirit of its own Pink government buildings, colorful homes, and many mansions, coupled with small hotels and mega resorts, line our coastal shore and waterfront city, creating a picture-perfect destination. Beaches with miles of powdery white sand caressed by stunning Bahama blue waters. Isn't it just a commercial? Beaches in Nassau and Paradise Island are truly a piece of paradise. And with sunshine 300 days a year, conditions are perfect to enjoy. Everything from swimming to snorkeling to kite surfing to snoozing under a swaying palm. Some of the most popular beaches in Nassau are Cable Beach, Love Beach, Saunders Beach, Junkanoo Beach, I love Junkanoo, uh, Cave Beach, and Jaws Beach. Vi visitor favorites on Paradise Island include Paradise Beach, Cabbage Beach, and Cove Beach. Trivia question, people, what's on Paradise Island? Big <laughs> Brick Resort. Atlantis, that's what it is. All right, so tap the PDF icon to view a map of Nassau's beaches. Or the PDF icon, oh, there it is, yeah. So here you go. You can see all of the areas. And if you look at the little purple one close to Paradise, that's Montague, yeah. So we've stayed at Junkanoo and Montague. And then we were um, in, Nassau at the Crystal Resort and Palace Casino in 1998 when Paradise Island was being built. I'm sorry, Atlantis was being built. And so we got to go in Atlantis and see all of the aquariums and all that kind of stuff for free. It was way cool. Very <laughs> nice. Uh, okay, what did you say was the best one to go to? We liked Junkanoo, it's the green one. And then the little like dark blue, little down the way Montague. Those two places are really nice. Okay, cool. All right, thank you. No problem. 
tropical metropolis. No matter what your client's interests are, they're sure to find a thrilling experience in Nassau. Foodies will savor a culinary tour through downtown Nassau, sampling teas, rum, and traditional Bahamian dishes. The all-day fish fry at Airwack K, or experience an exclusive food and wine pairing at numerous fine dining establishments. History buffs can board a Segway and ride through our colorful history. Check out a Junkanoo mu Museum. Visit the Queen Staircase. Oh boy, are there some stairs there. Or Clifton <laughs> Heritage National Park. Shopaholics will flock to Nassau Bay Streets to, to try on the latest fashions. Stroll down quaint streets for souvenirs or pick up the perfect gift for a loved one at a luxury boutique. And just to let you all know, right off the cruise ships, um, carnivals especially, they'll drop you off right at the straw market. So if you don't want to go into town and do all that stuff, they'll drop you off right there. In fact, you can just hop off, go through the straw market, and then um, hop right back on the sh cruise ship if you're not a big, you know, straw market person or you don't want to go on into Nassau. I think I was at Night Owls. Night Owls will find no shortage of entertainment here from live music at an intimate bar or trendy cocktails at a rooftop nighttop, rooftop nightclub to high rolling at the largest casino in the Caribbean. Nassau is the place to be. Sea lovers can charter, charter a yacht, sailboat, book a fishing tour, a dive tour, or a powerboat excursion and chart their adventures around New Providence or island hop through the islands of the Bahamas. Tap the video icon to listen to one travel advisor talk about some of his favorite excursions in Nassau and some only an island hop away. Check out the hotel directory for the perfect place to stay in Nassau and Paradise Island. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so again, this is another document you may want to go ahead and print for your um, for your files. Okay, um, and then we'll watch this quick little video. Oops, is this the one? Hold on. Yeah, no, next. Sorry, sorry. Hold on, let me get back to my other one. You're all good. Um, I was just going to tell you, we stayed at the Nassau Crystal Palace Resort. It might be called something else now, now because this was a ways ago. Uh, the Dutch oh. dig at the Atlantic uh, is highly recommended. It's the underground uh, lost city of Atlantic. All right, you guys learning anything? Good information. Nassau, the capital of the Bahamas is actually located on what island? New Providence. New Providence, yep, you nailed it. All right, everybody got that? I'm getting there, sorry. No worries. <laughs> all right, all good. All right, you wanna keep reading? I sure can. All right, thank you. Freeport in Grand Bahama Island, an escape within easy reach. Grand Bahama is the fourth largest Bahamian island and features miles upon miles of powdery white sand, verdant natural preserves, and sapphire blue seas. At the northmost island, it's easy to hop on a plane, board a cruise, or even take a ferry from Florida to Freeport, which is what we did. That was our honeymoon 27 years ago. Uh -huh. Affectionately called the second city of the Bahamas and find yourself relaxing on a quiet beach in no time. Insider tip, located just 50 miles, sorry, I'm trying to turn off my telegrams, they're going <laughs> here lately. Um, located just 50 miles east of Florida, consider booking your clients on a cruise and stay package from Port Everglades with Valeria Caribbean or West Palm Beach with Bahama Paradise Cruise Lines. Uh, Grand Bahama is commonly divided into three main sections. East End, sparsely developed, the eastern side of the island is dotted with many quaint settlements, secluded beaches, and ecological wonders, wonders ideal for nat nature enthusiasts. Settlements include High Rock, McLean's Town, 
sweetenings K and deep water K. And then the next one down there, uh, Freeport and Lucaya, a massive pine barren just over 60 years ago, the city of Freeport is now the commercial and industrial tour center or activity on Grand Bahama Island. Port Lucaya, yeah, that's right, uh, marketplace is the main shopping and entertainment plaza where you'll find dozens of specialty boutiques, restaurants, waterfront bars, live entertainment, and much more. Visitors can choose from a wide variety of eco adventures like kayaking through the mangroves, Jeep safaris, ATV off roading, motorized bikes, diving tours, and dolphin interactions. And we went to Freeport for our honeymoon just because it was it was so sparse. I mean, not Nassau is your like um, Miami area. Okay. Free, Freeport is your like um, uh, Navarre Beach. If you've ever been there, it's between in Pensacola and anyway it's much more secluded Got it. and then there's the West End the capital of Grand Bahama West End dates back to the prosperous days of bootlegging but nowadays resembles a quiet fishing village with quaint bars restaurants and churches many fishing legends fishing tours and eco ecology tours launch from the marinas in western Grand Bahama Beaches, Grand Bahama Islands, sprawling reef protected shoreline and caves are filled with 43 named picturesque be beaches. Here are a few options for your clients to explore. Paradise Cove for snorkeling, kayaking, paddleboarding right off the beach. Lucaya Beach for water, water skiing and parasailing. Smith's Point and Williamstown for conch shacks, beach bars and entertainment. Taino Beach for beach swings, zip lining, water trampolines. That would be my children. They would be there. <laughs> They're 19 and 16. Okay. Fortune Beach for beachfront dining. The most spectacular beach on the island is by far the Gold Rock Beach, part of the protected Lu Lucayan. I might be saying that wrong, but anyway, National Park. At low tide, this beach unveils its signature rippled sand playground, which is the which the locals call their Official welcome mat. That's cute. Check out the hotel directory for, for a perfect place to stay on the Grand Bahama Island. Very good. Thank you. Sure. Uh -huh. Look at those ATVs. I want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go next. Oops. Okay. Grand Bahama Island is located how many miles from the east coast of Florida? 50 miles. All right, let's try that. Very good. Yes, Maya. Very good. Congratulations. Thank you. You guys got that? 50 miles. All right. All right, I'll read a little and then I'll give it back to you. Sure, go ahead. All right. Discover the Out Islands. The Abacos, that's right, the boating capital of the Bahamas, 120 mile chain of islands and caves dotted by mangroves and white sand beaches. The Abacos are known um, as one of the world's best boating and sailing destinations. Its mainland settlements, charming caves, quaint col colonial towns, golf courses, and miles of stunningly Beautiful beaches make it an idyllic um, vacation destination for families, couples, and boaters. Many view the Abaco chain of islands as a mini Bahamas. Uh, Great Abaco Island and Little Abaco serve as the mainland with a string of barrier islands separating them from the Atlantic. Here are some of the most popular settlements. Marsh Harbor. Marsh Harbor is the bright lights and big city spot of the out islands. There is a wide section of hotels, restaurants, bars, and activities here as a charter boat hub with several full service marinas. Visitors can dock their own boat or find a rental. Both live aboard sailboats and powerboats are available. To the south lies Little Harbor, a picturesque bay with a small artist colony based around the Johnston Family Bronze Art Foundry and Pete's Pub. Treasure K, north of the Marsh Harbor is Treasure K, a, a hotel, golf, marina, and real estate development. But the main feature is the award-winning beach with the whitest, softest sand your toes have ever felt. 
the Abaco case from a uh, great Abaco, send your clients out across the sea of Abaco to find their own out island adventure in the Abaco case, which resemble New England fishing towns complete with picket fences and gingerbread trim. And of course, the distinctive bohemian touch of pastel, pastel colors. Insider tip, Abaco Ferry services make traveling from Marsh Harbor and Treasure Cay to the neighboring Cays so easy. Your clients should think of the ferry as the local bus, but with a much better view and more relaxed passengers. Uh, Hope Town on Elbow Cay is home to the famous candy striped lighthouse. The last hand wound kerosene burner lighthouse still in operation and a favorite photo op. Golf carts and bicycles are the primary mode of transportation for exploring this charming colonial town. It's museums, shops, and powdery white sand beaches. Mano War K. North of Elbow K, Mano War is another loyalist settlement, a conservative dry island known as the Abacos boat building center. This protected harbor is lined with boat fitting and sail shops. Next up the chain is the beachy Great Guana Cay. Green Turtle Cay is a home to the quaint town of New Plymouth, where um, with a full service marina, hotels and guest houses, as well as the superb diving and snorkeling services of Brendel's Dive Center. Check out the hotel directory for a per perfect place to stay at the Abacos. All right. And I'll give it back to you, Joanne, and you can read the next one. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, you gave me the rough one. Ella, <laughs> you're, is that right? In Harbor Island, an unspoiled natural pink paradise, pink sand, pineapples and privacy. Eleuthera, we'll say that, is a Greek for freedom a fitting name for an island that's free from crowds. Eleuthera moves at a slower pace than most people are accustomed to. Oh yeah, let me tell you that too. If you're ever in the hotel, oh my goodness, and the tour's supposed to start at nine o'clock, don't expect them to show up till 9.30. But Seriously? <laughs> yes, what they say is, eh, ma, no problem. Like, that's the Damien time. You know, so just be aware they do operate like they do in the U.S., just telling you. Okay, anyway, but advise your clients to leave their watches and cell phones at home because they won't be needing it, Mom, on the out island. Eleuthera is two miles wide and 110 miles long and boasts a stunning perimeter of unspoiled pink and white sand beaches and turquoise crystal clear water. But here, it's not all about the beaches. Eleuthera is known for the high cliffs that fringe the eastern side of the island where the Atlantic Ocean crashes down upon the rock. There are more natural wrecks here than any other island in the Bahamas, especially along the Devil's Backbone, a shallow and jagged reef extending across the northern edge of Luthra. You want to check out the video? Ooh, look at that blue water. There's nothing after here until you get to France or Africa. <laughs> Luther always had that draw. Like you go to Costa Rica, but then you want to come here, then you go to Mexico, but you want to come here. I never went back to any of those other places. I just wanted to be here. The weather, the water, and if you're a surfer, the waves are great. Average waves are probably in the shoulder head high range. But it can get huge. I mean, it can be bigger than a telephone pole during the winter during a big storm. How many of you all want to go um, surfing there? In the world. Huh? I was just asking the crowd here how many of them want to go surfing in those head high waves. I just, I booked another cruise, but I didn't tell my boyfriend. He's in Florida with his family. I said, yeah, one dollar hey. one, right? Yeah. I said, hey, honey bun lover. Um, sorry, but uh, we're going on another cruise in two weeks. <laughs> yeah, you, you poor thing is what you said to him. $346 for four nights. I know. 
who that three ticket was. He luckily came back. He, got, he told me he loved me, so I'm I'm still okay. <laughs> I have one getting his wisdom teeth out in December, and then my stepdad has cataract surgery, so I can't go anywhere. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. I'm going on a cruise with you. So, okay. <laughs> Back to this. Eleuthera is known for its pineapple plant plantations, with locals serving plenty of pineapple tarts and the annual pineapple festival, which celebrates the pineapple heritage of the Bahamas. However, it is the barefoot elegance of the accommodations and the friendly locals that give Eleuthera its reputation for being among the friendliest places in the world. The secluded villas, upscale resorts, and charming cottages keep visitors coming back year after year, including well-known movie stars and members of the British royal family. Harbor Island, one of the most popular spots just off the northern tip of Eleuthera, a narrow channel is Harbor Island, approximately three and a half miles long and only one and a half miles wide. Harbor Island is most renowned for its pink sandy beaches and exclusive accommodations, a vacation magnet for the rich and famous, savvy travelers and solitude seekers. Known simply as the Brilland, yep, to its residents, oh, like, Brooklyn, okay. Uh, Harbor Island is often called the Nantucket of the Caribbean. The colorfully painted New England styled architecture on the island perfectly complements the lush palm trees, flowered lined streets, and pink sandy beaches. Insider tip Eleuthera has three airports located in the north, central, and near the south. Clients stay on Harbor Island should fly into North Eleuthera. So you might want to write that down E L H. That is. Um, one of the um, airport codes. Uh, take a short taxi ride to the dock to boat the ferry to Brilland. Clients vacationing in Nassau can enjoy a day trip to mainland Eleuthera, Harbor Island, and Spanish Wells via Bahama Ferries. Harbor Island was ranked the best island in the Caribbean by Travel and Leisure magazine, and that's the ritzy magazine, y'all. And readers of the Elite Travel Magazine rated this tiny gem of the Bahama Outlet Islands number one among the islands in the Caribbean. Well, there you go. Tap the video icon to hear why Harbor Island is the this travel advisor's favorite Bahama, Bahamian island. And then check out the hotel directory for the perfect place to stay on Eleuthera and Harbor Island. Perfect. Thank you. Sure. Short and sweet. <laughs> All right. All right. So the 120 mile change of chain of islands and case is known as one of the world's best boating and sailing destinations. Yeah. Abacos. Hi. With Abacos? Yeah. Yes. Yes, you are correct. Also known as the mini Bahamas. Here's your pigs coming next. <laughs> all right next all right you want to go read one more anybody else want to read i don't mind unless somebody else wants to all right go ahead joanne and if anybody else wants to go ahead and put it in the chat we'll include you the eczemas 365 tiny jewels running along ribbons of sapphire and aquamarine. 365 of the 700 islands, there we go, of the Bahamas are within the Exuma chain, Exuma, Exuma, I guess, sprinkled like tiny jewels just 50 miles south of Nassau. The Exumas are configured into three major areas, Great Exuma, Little Exuma, and the Exuma Cays, and are simply breathtaking from an airplane. The Exuma Caves, many of the Exuma Caves are private, some operated as luxury exclusive resorts and others the ultra exclusive homes, such, star, uh, such stars as Johnny Depp, who's from Kentucky, by the way, so, <laughs> just like me, Tyler Perry and David Copperfield and country singers, Tim McGraw and Faith Hill. The hub of the Exuma Caves is the Staniel Cave, where boaters gather at the Staniel Daniel, yeah, that's right. K yacht clubs, bar and resorts, and where a landing strip serves as the gateway from Nassau and Florida to the northern stretch of the case. Within sight of the club is the famous Thunderball Grotto, seen in the James Bond film. There you go. 
uh, of the same name, as well as the Never Say Never Again, Splash and Into the Blue, where visitors can snorkel and duck inside a small hollow cay that fills that fill, sorry, that's filled with friendly fish accustomed to being hand fed. How cool. Note to be, sorry, not to be outshined by the aquatic life, our local four-legged celebrities, the swimming pigs, can be found on the big major K, sometimes called Pig Beach. How cool. <laughs> so yeah, I swam with the pigs. All right, here we go. Great eczema. Exuma, sorry. The anchor of the Exumas archipelago is Great Exuma. Georgetown. Oh, that's where we were. That's we were in Georgetown. Okay. It's laid back capital featuring markets and a great selection of casual Bahamian restaurants. Be sure to tell your clients to cross the demarcation of the Tropic of Cancer, which runs through Georgetown, just to say they did. A short boat ride from the Great Exuma is Stocking Island, which features spectacular views from atop a high bluff and a series of idyllic beaches separated by limestone promon promontories, promontories, yeah. On the lee side, the Chat and Chill is a classic beach bar with great food, like their signature conch burger, Little Exuma. Visitors are encouraged to take a scenic drive south to Little Exuma, where they can discover the historic sites and the villages of Roll Town and capture their perfect unfiltered selfie on, a, on the splendid Tropic of Cancer Beach, the longest and arguably prettiest beach in the chain. Check out the hotel directory for the perfect place to stay in the Exumas. Let me tell you, you can click on that hotel directory right there and then just bookmark it wherever you keep your bookmarks because that you can go to any accommodation type, any of the islands for any price. See the filters on the left? Yeah, you can click on any of those and kind of select um, and narrow down for your clients. That helps if you just save this as a bookmark. Very good, see? See guys, so lots and lots of resources for us. So wonderful, okay, thank you. Let's go ahead and go to next. Another quick video. A lot of people visit the Exumas and unfortunately they only end up experiencing the, the swimming pigs in Thunderball Grotto. But you know what people don't realize is that just a few miles away from these popular spots is the Exuma Keys Line and Sea Park, which to me is the the true beauty of the Exumas. The Exuma Keys Line and Sea Park is basically a 22 by 8 mile stretch of protected area within the Bahamas that showcases a wide variety of both wildlife and biodiversity. Shroud Key, which is filled with creeks and microbes that provide essential habitats for turtles and juvenile sharks and rays. And in the southern end of the park, we have some beautiful rock formations. We have the Rocky Dundas Cave System, which is actually two beautiful caves that have stalagmites and stalactites inside. The beaches found in the park are, are simply unmatched anywhere else, not just in the Exumas, but in the Bahamas. Cruisers who come to visit the Bahamas, the Exuma Park is definitely an area you can't miss. We currently have seven morning fields in the Exuma Park that provide a beautiful place for a cruiser or a visitor to securely moor their boat and be able to experience what we have to offer here in the park. Whether it's snorkeling or diving or hiking or simply lounging around on the beach, I mean, the, the experiences we offer here are unlike anywhere else in the Bahamas due to the natural beauty of the place and due to it being a, a protected area and an area that has been protected now for 60 years. Isn't it beautiful? This is a, a great project that the Bahamas National Trust has going on down here in Exuma, and it's a great way to ensure that this our gorgeous. natural resources are protected for future generations. Yay! All right. 
the Exumas have several claims to fame. Check all of the fun facts and experiences that um, my own, my list of Monica, that are only found in the Exumas. James Bond Thunderbolt Grotto is here, actual swimming with the pigs alongside visitors. Uh, demar demarcation of the Tropic of Cancer runs through Georgetown. Johnny Depp and Tyler Perry are many celebrities. And more than half of 700 islands are located within the Exuma chain. All, yep. check on all of them. All. Oh, oh, oh. I know doing all these trainings and stuff, guys, that's what I do. I just like, okay, I got to go here. Okay, I got to go here. Okay, dear, we got to go here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you've got everyone. Yes. Okay, guys. So, congratulations. All right, I'll go ahead and read now. Uh, Bimini, a mythical island in the stream, Bimini, which is actually composed of two main islands, North Bimini and South Bimini, and a few even smaller islands connected by a shallow flat, has a fascinating history. As the closest Bohemian group of islands to the U.S., Bimini served as a convenient offshore speakeasy and liquor store during Prohibition. Rum runners stored their hooch booth hooch both ashore and on a concrete Liberty ship called the Sapona that sit, still rests where it ran aground during a hurricane. It's one of the Caribbean's very best shallow water wreck sites for snorkelers and divers. Bimini is the true island in the stream, perched at the edge of the sheer underwater cliff that falls thousands of feet into the blue abyss. The Gulf Stream rushes north, washing past Bimini, feeding and warming its coral reefs, and serving as a watery highway for everything from marlin to manta rays, dolphin to sea turtles. Its unique location, coupled with a roguish history, makes Bimini the out island's favorite diving and fishing frontier outpost. All right, and here's some fisher. Wow. All right. <clears throat> For Ernest, Ernest Hemingway, it was love at first sight when he docked his boat in Bimini back in 1930s. He returned often after that, falling into the laid back Bimini way of life that included swimming off the beach, snorkeling, trolling for monster game fish, and yes, tossing back more than a few rums with the locals. Visitors today tend to follow the same routine with a few twists, such as extraordinary chance to interact with wild Atlantic spotted dolphins that gather north of the island, cast flies for bonefish on the flats of the Bahama uh, Bank, snorkel in the Bimini vortex, or search for the elusive fountain of youth. For visitors who prefer land-based activities, dive into Bimini's history on a walking tour of Alice Town, which includes the Dolphin House Museum, or rent a golf cart and scoot from restaurant to restaurant, enjoying the sea-to-table foodie culture and freshly baked Bimini bread. Feeling lucky? North Bimini has a live-action casino featuring popular table games and slot machines. North Bimini is accessible by ferry by, from Port Everglades and Valeria Caribbean. Travelers arriving by plane will fly South Bimini, BIM, and can take a short taxi 
McBride to the dock to board the ferry to the North Bimini. Check out the hotel directory again, as we showed you earlier. All right. Bimini has a storied past and a prime location, which statements are true about this beautiful island. Bimini is the closest group of islands to the U.S. Bimini served as an offshore speakeasy liquor store. Ernest Hemingway adored Bimini and returned open to fishing, North Bimini accessible, all of the above. Oops. All of the above. All of the above. <laughs> yep. Usually it lets you get submit instead before doing it, but okay. Congratulations, all of the above. All right, now we have the Berry Islands, the fishbowl of the Bahamas. The Berry Islands are a cluster of 30 caves located southeast of Bimini, decked with greens and fringed and drifts of sand. These largely uninhabited islands are a magnet for sports, fishermen, and underwater adventures. Chubb K is often referred to as the fishbowl of the Bahamas, bordering the deep sea, goal, um, deep sea goalie known as the tongue of the ocean. Bait fish are drawn into the submarine gardens off its coast and larger fish follow, making it a fisherman's paradise famous for its record-breaking catches. Chubb K is known as the billfish capital of the Bahamas, but tuna grouper, tigerfish, yellowtail snapper, Wahoo and King Mackerel are also in abundance here. The Berry Islands also boasts of some of the best bone fishing in the Bahamas. The Berry Islands have a population of only about 700 people, most of whom live at Bullock's Harbor on Great Harbor Cay, the larger, largest of the islands, a marina ringed, ring, ringed well, with waterfront townhomes and luxurious yachts, as well as an 18-hole championship golf course, and seven continuous miles of beautiful beaches make it a favorite hideaway for the wealthy. Again, hotel directory for the perfect place on the Berry Islands. Again, you can filter and check out all the different opportunities. All right, next. <clears throat> Andros, the big island, a natural wonder. Um, all of the out islands mo boast abundant natural attractions by Andros, the largest yet most sparsely, sparsely developed of all the Bahamas, is king when it comes to superlative, superlative um, that's right, natural experiences. It's a great place for a laid back beach getaway, wedding or honeymoon. But for eco-travelers, kayakers, bird watchers, hikers, snorkelers, divers, and fishermen, the big island of the bah Bahamas is a nature's paradise. The Earth's third largest barrier reef lies adjacent to Andros Shores, licking at the east coast is a mile deep abyss called the Tongue of the Ocean. Walled with coral and filled with whales, dolphins, marlins, and intriguing reef dwellers, a wonderland for divers and snorkelers, big game fishermen with cat will cast the snapper along the deep reef and mahi mahi, tuna, wahoo, and marlin just a bit farther out into the blue. Underwater caves riddle the land surfacing as mesmerizing blue holes that are found all over the island. In the middle of the forest, among a mangrove lined wetlands, out on flats, inside deep channels, and amid the stony ancient reef that makes up much of the landscape. Birds find Andros an ideal stopover on their yearly migrations when they join just local, um, such local exotics as abyss, spoon bills, wood stars, and the rare Bahama parrot. Bird watchers who flock to the island find their quarry awaiting along the shore, roosting the mangroves where silent, peaceful approach by kayak ensures close sightings. And um, hiding amid the coppice, Hikers can get a combination natural history tour and cultural lesson by participating in a walk back a do back back at the bush. <laughs> and thrill seekers can try their skills at, at crabbing, hunting for land crabs. Exactly. When Andros visitors take a break from adventuring, there are plenty of other things to do on the islands. Whether it's a picnicking at Morgan's Bluff, Love Hill Beach, or Somerset Beach, or shopping for locally produced androgian um, 
fabrics in Fresh Creek or baskets and wood carvings in Red Bay. Andros is divided by mangroves and creeks, so traveling the length of the island requires transportation by land and sea. However, visitors can easily fly into North, Central, and South Andros. Verify that the Andros Airport selected is in close proximity to the accommodations your clients have chosen. Flights between Nassau and Cango, South Andros take 20 minutes. All right. Almost done. We have uh, 10 more. Let's see if we can finish this one. And then it looks like I have to add it to my calendar because I don't think we'll get our certificates today. But at least we got through two of them. Andros has more blue holes per square mile. Wow. Look at those blue holes. I know. Isn't that cool? Wow. Man, I if I had just known green. this, well, if I had just known this when I was in Freeport, <laughs> the way we got our information then was through like Fodor. You know, you went to the library and got the Fodor's book, and um, this was way before GPS and smartphones right. and all that stuff. That was 1994. Oh, geez. Check out this guy's GoPro. It's in the middle of a pine forest, which is Wow, look at that. So My husband wouldn't sure jump in there. He'd be so afraid. afraid. <laughs> it is also one of the top spots to go and visit if you are here on Andros looking for birds. Captain Bills has become one of the top camping spots, not only on Andros, but in the country. If you come to Andros, you definitely need to visit Captain Bill's. Go jump. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. A mile deep abyss off the east coast of Andros is called Something of the Ocean, named after this body part. What the heck? What are we supposed to do? Just type it in there? Yeah, you can type it in. Did you guys type something? Yeah. What body part? Type in tongue. Oh, that's it. Thank you. Sorry, I was letting the dog out. <laughs> Tongue. All right, there we go. All right, a serene escape. About 130 miles southeast of uh, Nassau, Cat Island is a fish hook shaped island, only 48 miles long and four miles across the widest part, practically a stone's throw east of Eleuthera's southern tip, named after the pirate Arthur Cat. Much of the island has not been developed, which provides a unique vacation for those who want to truly get away from it all. Divers can explore the coral reefs and blue holes, undersea walls, caves and shipwrecks. Sharks, dolphins and stingrays are common companions. While veteran divers know their way around the ocean floor, guides are always available to help beginners experience life under the sea. Under the sea. Under hey, can I say one thing real quick? Uh-huh. Click on that picture, please, ma'am. Check this out, people. You need to save this picture. Just right click, save as, save picture as, save image as, whatever. Because this is perfect for you to use the background of your memes. And you can use this because it's on their page. Perfect. See that, guys? We'll put Bahamas Beach sign. Yes. All right. Beautiful, huh? See, see? was head the answer to the last one. No, it's tongue, tongue, Jeremiah. All right, see guys, this is why you attend any live trainings because we learn from each other. So thank you, Joanne, that's a great thing. So now, now you guys got a picture to add, okay? All right, island visitors can also take a bike ride and go on a picnic to find secluded pink sand beaches, kayak the estuaries, um, and sea turtles, rays, and other colorful sea life beneath the clear water, clear blue waters. 
or skimboard the surf and paddleboard the leeward side of the island. Hikers can take to the trails to look to the Araruk Indian caves or let a local guide share their knowledge of all the medicinal uses of the plants on the island. Or they can tackle Mount Alvernia, the highest elevation in the Bahamas at 206 feet above sea level to breathe in the serenity of the 360 degree vista. Again, hotel directory on Cat Island. All right, Long Island, a study in contrast, a towering spine of ancient reef gives 80 miles Long Island two faces. The dramatic cliffs and the caves of the East Coast that front the crashing Atlantic waves and the soft sandy edged west side, which uh, slides calmly into the Bahama Bank. Shark diving, vast schools of fish around towering coral formations, and the spectacular wall of nearby Conception Island National Park are serious draws for scuba diving enthusiasts. While the angling for both bonefish and big game fish is enough to keep any fisherman thrilled. Home to one of the oldest dive operations in the Bahamas, Long Island has numerous shallow and deep dive sites, but is best known for Dean's Blue Hole, the deepest recorded blue hole in the Bahamas, okay, more than 600 feet. Long Island is also home to Columbus Point, a towering mem memorial to Christopher Columbus perched high on a hill at the island's northernmost tip. Visitors can soak in outstanding 360 degree ocean views at Columbus Point, or if you prefer vacationing at sea level, take a leisurely tour of the stagmites and stagmites at Dead Men's Cave, K Caves. Ooh, sounds scary, huh? The dramatic visual contrasts um, of this Bahama Island are perfectly complemented by quiet, friendly villages and miles of uninterrupted beaches that offer silken, soft sand ranging from pink to yellow to white. Again, click on the hotel directory for more info. You know, they haven't said this, but it sounds like to me, since this was, they mentioned Johnny Depp, of course, he's Pirates of the Caribbean. Right. I wonder if they didn't film some of the Pirates of the Caribbean here. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. Maybe we'll have to Google. Google's yeah, the best friend, huh? Um, the island has two faces, the dramatic cliffs and caves of the, I think we did a training the other day that mentioned something about that. Google and see, because I think I don't, um, maybe it was Fiji or something. Um, the island has two faces, the dramatic cliffs and caves of the East Coast fronting the crashing waves and the soft sandy. So that is true. Oops, no. Long sorry. Island. Long yeah. Island. Long Island. Yay. Thank you. You guys are good. All right, so how many more? Five more. We'll get through this, guys. We'll hurry. All right, uh, Southern Bahamas, San Salvador, visitors, gateway to the new world. Visitors can take a giant step back in time and experience firsthand the birthplace of the Bahamas and the new world on San Salvador. San Salvador has been recognized with much debate among researchers as Christopher Columbus's first landfall in the New World in 1492. To date, four separate monuments mark the exact spot where he came ashore. However, the most common assumption is that the landing occurred at Long Bay, where it's commemorative, commemorated by a simple white stone cross. Flights between Nassau and San Salvador, 55 minutes. One of the most southern, um, southeastern islands of the Bahamas, San Salvador is actually exposed peak of a submerged mountain that rises 15,000 feet from the ocean floor, only 12 miles long and five miles wide with a population of 1,200 San Salvador the Salvadorians. The island has miles of pristine, secluded beaches bordering the aquamarine sea. San Salvador's landscape most, mostly consists of dune ridges with troughs 
forming um, sparkling lakes that make up nearly a third of the interior of the island. Surrounding reefs protect the island and large break near Cockburn Town provides access to the island for boats, making this a favorite location for dive charters and lives, lives aboard, live aboards. All right, Rum K. Again, you can click on the picture. Okay, in explore Indian heritage, Rum K, San Salvador's smaller and more sparsely populated sister island is located 20 miles southwest of San Salvador. In the north of Rum K, there is a cave containing Lucian, Lucian Indian drawings and carvings and various artifacts from the Araric um, Indian period have been found by local farmers. Today, nearly everybody lives in Port Nelson, the main settlement where cottages can be rented. Originally named Santa Maria de la Concepcion by Columbus, the present moniker of Rum K is said to be a memory of a wrecked ship with a cargo of rum which foundered off the coral reefs along the island's shore. The gin clear turquoise water surrounding Rum K make it the best kept secret in the Bahamas for exhilarating dives, fishing adventures, kite surfing, or finding peace and tranquility at Concepcion Island, Conception Island National Park. All right, again, hotel directory. The island has been recognized as Christopher Columbus' first landfall in the New World, 1942. San Salvador. And Salvador. And Salvador. You nailed it. That is correct. So White K in the Bahamas is uh, one of the places, Pirates of the Caribbean. There's other places too, Dominica and other places. But if you listen to the, like him talk on Pirates of the Caribbean, uh -huh. he talks about every one of these things, Dead Man's K and Rum K and <laughs> I, mean, I swear to goodness, the, the I'll, have to, I'll have to rewatch it. <laughs> well, the screenwriter knew about the Bahamas, let me tell you. Okay, cool. All right, so Acklin and Crooked Island. Acklin, a magical lagoon. That sounds fun. Good things come in small packages and truer words couldn't be spoken about Acklin. Measuring just 92 square miles, the island hugs the bite of Acklin, a small but famous lagoon connecting Acklin and Crooked Island by ferry. The population is scar scarce with just over 400 residents and its unspoiled rugged terrain draws solitude seekers and nature lovers alike. Breathtaking secluded beaches, exotic rock formations bring visitors to its shores, but the crystalline vibrant seas are the biggest lure. Acklands is a serious scuba diving, snorkeling and fishing destination. Mm -hmm. In more than 1000 miles of knee deep water in the bite of Acklands, Visitors will find some of the best bone fishing in the Bahamas, and the snorkeling is simply spectacular. Uh, Cli Crooked Island is cliffs, coral, and caves. Crooked Island is one of the four islands forming an atoll which hugs the beautiful shallow waters of the Bight of Acklands. Bordered by the nearly uninhabited Castle Island and Long Cay, it hasn't changed much since Columbus sailed down the leeward side of the islands through the narrow Crooked Island Passage. Although quiet and remote, Crooked Island's natural beauty is enough to stir the soul and inspire exploration both above and below sea level. An abundance of bird life thrives on the cliffs and reefs around the island and magnificent limestone caves hide secrets from the past. Coral gardens, shelves, and reefs are a treat, treat for divers and the deep creeks, tidal flats, and pools filled with game fish make it a sportsman delight. Check out the hotel directory for the perfect places to stay there. All right, you wanna read, Joanne? Sure. Perfect. In Agua, Maya, Maya Guana, and Ragged Islands. In Agua, bird watching capital of the Bahamas. By the way, um, we saw the Ardastra Zoo in Nassau, and they have a flamingo show. Like they line up the flamingos and they get them to march around the ring. It is the coolest thing. 
uh, Inagua is the southernmost island in the Bahamas and actually consists of two separate islands, Great Inagua and Little Inagua. Both are known for their natural surroundings, making it a haven for eco-tourists. Great Inagua is the third largest island in the Bahamas with the Inagua National Park covering 45% of the island. The park is home to over 80,000 West Indian flamingos, the national bird of the Bahamas. Might, might be a question. And over 140 species of native and migratory birds, some of which are only found here. It is easy to see why Inagua is the bird watching capital of the Bahamas. Quick tip for you, why are they pink? What do they eat? Anyone? I know fish, right? Shrimp. Shrimp. So that's, and that's, that's where makes some pink, have right? that pink color. Yeah. So when they're little, they're white. Um, and then as they grow, they get pinker and pinker. So little Inagua is a protected habitat for endangered sea turtles and features a vast reef that prevents boaters and sailors from getting too close to its shores. Several unique animal species not seen anywhere else in the world were discovered on Inagua in 1949. They included a fast-moving freshwater turtle, several different breeds of duck, a hummingbird, and a new type of lizard. And then my iguana, I'm going to say my iguana, yeah, a true escape from reality. More isolated and less developed than any other island in the Bahamas, my iguana is the ideal getaway for travelers seeking seclusion and true escape from reality. Whether it's footprint beaches, a plethora of fishing hotspots, or small countryside villages inhabited by friendly locals. My iguana is the perfect combination of quiet and charm. My iguana is the only Bahamian island that still bears its original Arawak name, which is said to refer to a specific species of iguana found nowhere else in the world. The island was a favored base for pirates before residents began migrating from nearby Turks and Caicos in 1812. Today, it's home to just 300 locals who live in three main settlements. How about that? Abraham's K, Pirate's Well, and Betsy Bay. The villages are quaint, rustic, and located no more than 15 minutes from each other. Visitors look for adventure. Visitors looking for adventure can dive through sea caves at Northwest Point, go crabbing at Horse Pond Beach, reel in a bonefish, or take a guided tour of the three main settlements. Then there's Ragged Island unspoiled beaches and unbelieving fishing unbelievable fishing i am dying here y'all i love to snorkel and scuba dive and fish those are three of my favorite things in the world <laughs> quiet serene and hilly ragged island isn't as rough as its name suggests the island is a haven for avid fishermen with its unparalleled flats ideal for bone fishing it's also common to snag an abundance of grouper. Oh, my favorite fish to eat, snapper, barracuda, tuna, and kingfish during just one day on the water. The beaches of Ragged Island are mostly unexplored and the coves are perfect for picnicking, relaxing, and combing for shells. Those looking to explore by land will find several historical landmarks, quaint towns, and authentic handmade Bahamian crafts. Ragged Island is believed to have been a pirate safe house at one point, with its rocks and caves offering great hideaways. Blackbeard's Bay, uh -huh. here we go again from Pirates of the Caribbean, and Blackbeard's Well signify that the pirates have established his headquarters near the well because of its unique location. Today, fewer than 70 people call Ragged Island home. Wow, that's really secluded. <laughs> yeah. All right, check out the hotel directory. Perfect, thank you. Visitors can find over 80,000 West Indian flamingos, the national bird of the Bahamas, and over 140 species of native and migratory birds at the national park on this island. Great Inagua. Very good, you oh, got God. it. <clears throat> All right. It. Yay, congratulations on completing your island tour. We hope you've gotten a taste of what makes each island in its archipelago special. Time to read on and discover how your clients can best experience every colorful feature of the Bahamas. All right, guys, so congratulations. This one says 12 minutes, but I know it's, it's late. Um, I don't know if you wanna do this real quick or run through it or wait and we'll do it later 
It's okay with me. Let's okay. check it real quick. I mean, we can skip over the video. So let's do, oh, click on the icons on the supplemental. Okay. Might as well finish it real quick. Again, I'm recording it. If you guys need to um, get off, I am recording it, okay? Oh, let me say something real quick. These junk, these new parades are amazing. Um, we watched two of them when there's a place called um, Junkanoo, Junkanoo Joe's, I think it is, on Nassau, and it was in our hotel, and they did a parade right outside, and the costumes are just unbelievable. Oh, cool. Okay, well, Joanne, plan a trip for us. Okay. You'll, you'll be our guide. Well, now I want to go to all the places I haven't been. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's like, why it's cool to do these because what? it's like, wow, I didn't even know that was there. What? When we went to uh, Puerto Vallarta on the cruise, I made sure I did the training before we went because yes. I'm like, oh, I need to see this. I need to see this. And then I ended up going and, and getting suckered into a timeshare tour and spending my five hours in a, in a timeshare. <laughs> Well, we we were suckered on our honeymoon into a vacation package right and so that's why we've been so many of these places so yeah so i told rick we need to go back again to just experience it because it's like shoot you know yeah the guy promised us oh only an hour and again oh, i worked yeah. in timeshares i know better but yeah they lie <laughs> it was it was just so hot there so. yeah Well, See, I it's a fun, dancing, beautiful area, guys. Definitely I'm put this on your bucket list. Dying to try the Ackland and Crooked Island. Oh my yeah, gosh. okay. All right, so festivals and events. Um, Junkanoo, the spectacular pre-dawn street parade of music, dance, and costume takes place on December 26th and January 1st. It's probably the most famous and distinctly bohemian cultural expression. Although its or origins are up to for debate, the Bohemian cultural extravaganza is an enduring and incredibly fun tradition. The most popular belief is that Junkanoo evolved from the days of slavery. The slaves were given three days off during the Christmas season, which they used to celebrate by singing and dancing in colorful masks and traveling from house to house, often on stilts, um, after slavery was abolished, Junkanoo nearly finished, vanished, but the revival of the festival now provides entertainment not only during the Christmas season, but also throughout the year on some islands. Here's a whirlwind tour of the many other colorful festivals and events visitors can participate in while staying in the Bahamas. And then again, Nassau and Paradise Island. I don't know if you want to take a picture of these. Um, I'm not going to read through them each, but again, as you can see, lots of um, during the holidays, during the summers, et cetera, okay? Lots and lots of different tournaments, okay? Um, again, tournament. bookmark, bookmark this page, and that way you have this whole list if you want to. If somebody's asking, oh, I want to go during the such and such event, just bookmark this page and you go straight to it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's go to next again. Save it. All right. What is the name of the distinctly bohemian, the tons of fun pre dawn street parade of music, dance, and costume that takes place December 26th and the first each year? Junkanoo. Mm -hmm. Junkanoo. Junkanoo. All right, natural attractions, whether on land or sea, the islands of the bah Bahamas often offer visitors the ultimate natural adventure. Impossibly clear, shallow waters and shimmering shades of blue and jade beckon everyone to enjoy their treasures. Here are some unique experiences on land or under the water your clients won't want to miss. Diving and snorkeling are excellent throughout the Abacas and protected areas such as Falque Natural National Reserve and Pelican Caves National Park. 
Reefs with swim through caves can also be found filled with silver bait, bait fish and dive spots where sightings of Caribbean reef sharks are almost guaranteed. Harbor Island brings thrills to adventure seekers with dive sites like Current Cut, one of the most challenging high current dives in the Caribbean. Harbor Island is also famous for its pink sand beach that runs the entire length of the island on its eastern side. The beach is protected by outer lying, outlying coral reefs. Look at the pigs, I did swim with those. And makes the turquoise clear water one of the safest and most alluring swimming and snorkeling spots in the Bahama. Not to be missed, the Eleuthera is the awesome glass window bridge, one of the few places on earth where one can compare two starkly contrasting bodies of water, the turbulent, rich blue waters of the Atlantic Ocean on one side of the road and the calm, bright Eleuthia, Eleuthera, often referred to as the Caribbean Sea on the other side. The two bodies of water are separated by a bridge over a strip of rock just 30 feet wide. In the Exumas, visitors will find the widely popular swimming pigs who rush into the surf every time they hear boats motoring nearby during um, doing their best piggy paddles in hopes of getting food from curious and amused spec spectators. The Exuma K Land and Sea Park, the first of its kind in the world, is famous for its pristine beauty, outstanding anchorages, and breathtaking marine environment. Its transparent turquoise waters feature natural gardens of coral reef teeming with fish and lobster. More natural attractions, youth seeking visitors can kayak their way to the legendary Fountain of Youth, a natural spring that pumps lithium and sulfur on Bimini. Divers will head for the wrecks and reefs off the wall, or atop mysterious Bimini Road that some believe is a remnant of a man-made causeway, perhaps built by the fabled Atlantis' own civil engineers. Home to over 80,000 flamingos, the national bird of the Bahamas, Inigua is a haven for bird watchers along with flamingos. Bird birding enthusiasts will find over 140 species of native and migratory birds, making Inagua the bird watching capital of the Bahamas. Many believe the mermaid lives that a mermaid lives among the four blue holes within the Great Lake of Cat Island. The mermaid hole leads to several underground caverns and passageways. And if you ask the locals, they'll happily detail the various sightings. More mystical wonders await you in Freeport where our Brister Creek flows into a clear lake called Boiling Point. The resulting tidal conditions uh, cause bubbles and burps leading to the legend of a sea monster living below its surface. Another must see on Grand Bahama Island are the famed Lucian Caverns where visitors can explore the world's longest surveyed underwater cave system. The cliffs and hills of Crooked Island hide numerous caves. Some say as many as 42 sites have been uncovered. More popular caves include McKay's Bluff Cave at McKay's Bluff and the large cave at Gun Bluff, Preacher's Cave in Thompson's and Gingo Hill Cave at Turtle Sound. Um, the Vertical Blue International Free Diving Competition is held every year at Dean's Blue Hole on Long Island. Com um, competitors, film crews, and spectators travel from around the world just to witness male and female free divers descend into the second deepest blue hole in the world. San Salvador, the original landfall of Christopher Columbus and the gateway to the new world offers several national parks showcasing the best of the in island's natural wonders. The Southern Great Lake National Park, home to nesting seabirds and iguanas, Graham's Harbor Iguana and Seabird National Park, recognized as a key biodiversity area, and Green Bay's National Park, which supports the seagrass beds and endangered iguanas on small offshore caves like Loke. Um, do, 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 do. All right, Joanne, you want to read some more? Sure. 
Legend yeah, we, has it that a mermaid lives within the four blue holes within the Great Lake on which island? Cat Island. Cat Island. Good job. All right. Cuisine. Cuisine my favorite. I'm starving. <laughs> but it's too late to eat here. Uh, <laughs> Eateries range from down-home restaurants featuring traditional Baham Bahamian favorites to more artisan fine dining options, which combine international cuisine with island flavor. Some of the Bahamas' best indigenous food creations are desserts like benny, sesame cake, coconut and peanut cakes, potato bread, cassava bread, flour cake, pineapple tart, coconut tart, and guava duff. But what the country is most known for is the many ways Bahamians eat the ocean mollusk, mollusk conch. And it says pronounced conch, in case you were ever wondering. <laughs> the humble conch is pretty much the national dish. I advise your clients to try conch fritters, conch salad, cracked conch, battered and deep fried, steamed, or stewed. I will tell you, it's a little chewy. So I like it frittered. <laughs> I like it in the fritters because that way it's battered and it's almost like a clam. That's what it kind of tastes like. Native delights, the native plants prized for their curative value are used to make special brews of tea. Many Bahamians, particularly in the out islands, start their day sipping on bush tea. Visitors can also sample these delights at some restaurants and complimentary people to people afternoon tea parties held in the major islands throughout the year. I didn't know that. Another beverage distinctly Bahamian is, of course, the Bahama Mama. Now, let me tell you what. My husband had a few of those while we were there. <laughs> the signature co uh, cocktail is made of coconut and white rums, grenadine, pineapple, orange juice, and with a float of dark rum. Um, many of these culinary delights can be sampled on tasting or walking tours in major tourist areas, along with the rum, cigars, and chocolates. Let me tell you. You might not want to take the pineapple that they offer in the farmer's market at Freeport because uh, it's likely to have some rum in it if you don't want the rum. <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> some of the Bahamas. Oh, I'm sorry. We're on the next page there. Okay. Some of some the Bahamas uh, best indigenous food creations are desserts like Benny, sesame cake, coconut and peanut cakes, but conch is definitely considered the national dish. Check all the ways Bahamians love to eat conch. Did you stop? Is it all, the all of them? Yep, it's all, all of them. them. Yep, deep fried, I would definitely go with. Okay. <laughs> all right, almost done, guys. We're gonna do this, yes. Okay, go ahead with shopping. With a wonderful array of local shops and international stores, Nassau and Paradise Island are a shopper's haven. Fine fashions and designer boutiques can be found at Crystal Port Shops and Marina Village at Atlantis on Paradise Island and along the retail promenade at Baja Mar, while unique and pop popular local shops sit on Bay Street in downtown Nassau. Now, I am telling you, if you're planning on paying some bucks, it, you go to Paradise Island. If you're not, you go to the Nassau Straw Market. Just saying. <laughs> Portland. Marketplace is Grand Bahama's main shopping and entertainment plaza with a straw market. Dozens of specialty boutiques, restaurant bars, entertainment, and much more. The Count Basie Square at Port Lucaya offers live entertainment perfect to unwind after a long day of shopping. Duty free. So if you don't know what that means, that means you can take up to so many things or so much a dollar amount um, without paying any taxes. The government of the Bahamas removed the import duty on 11 categories of luxury goods. So perfumes and fragrances, crystal, leather goods, jewelry, fine linen, tablecloths, watches and clocks, photo photographic equipment, china, binoculars and telescopes are all duty free. I was thinking the Bahamas was where the emerald, emeralds were too. Maybe that's Cayman Island or Cayman, I don't know. Anyway, straw work. Not to be missed is the bustle and Bahamian char of the straw markets, brimming with handcrafted items. The art of straw work is one of the oldest industries in the Bahamas, and nowadays there are many unique straw, wood, and shell creations available. Your clients will delight in discovering many local handcrafted items, such as baskets, hats, and mats throughout the islands. I have a purse that is, oh, I would guess, 
1980s. My mom got it when she went to the bah Bahamas and I still have it and it's a straw purse. Authentically Bahamian. Local Bahamian shops are full of beauty handcrafted items that make for an ideal island gift and souvenir. All products that display the authentically Bahamian brand are evaluated by the Bahama Ministry of Tourism to guarantee that the items are handmade locally in the Bahamas. Cool. All right. Very interesting. Sorry. <laughs> Saving a picture, sorry, of shopping here. Well, the People to People program is intended to put locals together with visitors. Hmm. You're meeting somebody face to face. You, you include the visitor in your life in the things you would normally do. What it allows them to do is to really be able to share and uh, get a better perspective of what it's like. Food, you know, that's always the main part of any Bahamian get-together. I say Bahamians have any excuse for a party. <laughs> <laughs> party! <No. laughs> Look at all those. Even in that short space of time, you build a relationship with the people that, that you get to meet and speak with. I think eating with someone is always, always very, very powerful. You know, I appreciate you guys staying on board. We're almost done. We're almost done, guys. We got this. If we did not have the people to people program, I shudder to think of the number of tourists who would come here and get perhaps a shallow experience. All right. I think we're doing our test. Let's do it. One more. All right, people to people experience. The islands of the Bahamas offer very special visitor program that exemplifies the warmth and hospitality of its people. The premise is simple. If you want to truly understand the place you are visiting, then get to know the people who live there. The people to people experience pairs in inquisitive travelers with local volunteers from 10 different islands and all walks of life. This unique opportunity offers a chance to connect at a deeper level with those generous enough to open their homes and hearts to travelers like your clients. You share an experience, not just of a light sightseeing nature, but something more with the heart in it. This would be really cool guys to do. Um, Priceless Experience, our free program, lets your clients experience bohemian culture and cuisine, as well as learn more about our history and develop a long lasting friendship with one of the 500 bohemian ambassadors. You can help them, um, you can help them join before they leave at bahamas.com people to people or advise them to speak with the tour desk at their hotel or visit the nearest Bahamas tourist office. We just need to know which island they would like to visit and what their interests are. Then we'll use that information to pair them with the Bohemian ambassador. Um, people to people was just the type of experience we were hoping for when we signed up for it. We got to meet real Bohemians and have great conversations, great food, and can't wait to go back. Friends for Bahamas for life. Uh, tap the video icon to hear uh, what one advisor says. How cool would that be? Because I, I know that's what I'm saying. Meet, oh, I love going and meeting the local people. There's nothing like it. Yeah. We went to Belize and we rode the bus with the Belizeans, and I knew a little bit of Spanish, and it was really fun. <laughs> Yeah, they have um, different things like this, you know, even like going to the Philippines or or Fiji or whatever, where you can go and, you know, help like take care of um, elephants or something or, you know, it's a working um, uh, trip, um, yeah. volunteer trip. It's it's really cool. I'd you love to do 
something if like that. If you ever go to the old Belize Zoo, uh -huh. it, you can feed a baby tapir, you can give uh -huh. uh, a jaguar a high five, feed him a chicken foot. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is so much fun. All right. All right. Yay. We did it, guys. Okay. We started with 27. We've got 16 that stayed on. Congratulations, guys. Well done. You've successfully completed the foundation training for becoming a Bahamas specialist and can now proudly share your diploma. Be sure to use the retain section whenever you need a content refresher or a ready made sales presentation. Visit the promote section to share fun promotional items with your clients and prospects to start the conversation about the Bahamas. When you're ready to book your next trip, the sell section has the sales support and resources for you to close the sale like a pro. But first, you can up your game now by earning badges on the specialization modules coming up next like romance mice groups and dive good luck all right so we'll put that on the calendar to finish those but here promote you can go in here and use these to promote okay different promotional material guys videos share a video and post your certificate guys i'm now a specialist okay promote 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 okay so congratulations i'm excited for you all okay so the next one here's my certificate you should be able to have it download it print it etc let people know okay yay congratulations i will put this on the calendar and we're going to do the specialization one next time looks like it shouldn't be it should be about the same it looks like maybe a little lot less so again yay congratulations i appreciate you guys staying on i know it's like nine o'clock in the east coast so um i'm excited for you again this is recorded if you have anybody else on your team that wants to do it let's do it um joanne's gonna plan a trip for us for next year <laughs> outside of the outside of the uh, hurricane season but we want to do the blue holes okay definitely want to do that so um again congratulations have an amazing amazing night uh tomorrow as i said we will be doing clea um what ron archer will be going over at 11 i'm not sure but we'll follow up after and and kind of go over that um if it already covered everything then we'll find out what you know we'll go into another one and try to um at least get some kind of certification okay all right what we say is um if we don't see at the beaches of the world we'll see you at the bank have a great night get your postings post in the chat groups post in the facebook post in instagram let people know that you attended this and now you're a specialist okay get the word out all right Mwah. love you guys Talk to you Thank soon. Thank you Bye. so much.